Essentially, baptism is identification with Jesus' death. Or don't you know that all of us who were baptised into Christ Jesus were baptised into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. It is a ritual of celebration where we choose to die to self and become born again. Physically, it is either full immersion in water or confirmation of christening. It was part of Jesus' final command before ascending that alongside discipleship we should baptise those of every nation. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The word baptism in Greek, baptizo, which has a combination of meanings, dipping repeatedly, immersion or to be overwhelmed. What Jesus wants for us is to be fully submerged or immersed in him. It's a continual being in Jesus. As Galatians puts it, For as many of you as were baptised into Christ have put on Christ. This doesn't mean you are actually Jesus, but you identify with his death, which is death to your old way of living, and now that you're alive in him. Having been buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through faith in the powerful working of God, who raised him from the dead. Some Christians fill up a small swimming pool, then the baptizee is lowered and raised as a symbol of death and life. It's important to note that even though we are commanded to be baptised, baptism itself doesn't actually save you. But it is a rite of passage for those who follow Jesus. In fact, there are many biblical accounts of people believing and then quite soon afterwards they are baptised. From my experience, baptism serves three major purposes. Following Jesus' command, demonstrating your death to life in him and thirdly it's a good excuse for a party and a little bit of cake <laughs>